Oh, man. I can't wait to see my favorite Korean team's new turn and vision strike as a Valorant Masters in Berlin. Wait. What? <laughs> no. No! No! Who are these guys? Coming out first is F4Q. This is a streaming team. Very different background from the other teams we've had here. In South Korea, the land of legendary esports organizations and dynasties of champions, F4Q, who no one has ever heard of, have risen to the top of Valorant. What started as a team of streamers and content creators has somehow snagged a spot in Berlin Masters, representing all of South Korea alongside regional powerhouse Vision Strikers. So with this notably not new turn team soon to be gracing your Twitch streams and phone screens, let me answer a simple burning question. Who the f*** are F4Q? F4Q, they said that they were practicing really hard this season. They're playing 10 plus hours every day and you see it reflected in their play. They're damn right. F4Q have burst onto VCT Stage 3 with renewed drive and competitive commitment. With stream hours on the decline and scrim hours in the other direction, this team entered challenges with their aim to no longer be just the streamer team. This is a team that broke Vision Strikers' 104 win streak when they were the enigmatic masters of Korea. This is the team that showed Korea you don't need sponsorship, a dozen support staff, the top strategists, and a team house to win. You just need to be that damn good. So let's meet them. Well, well, well. If it isn't the world's premier raise main. No one moves, no one hops, no one blasts in like Bunny. A gamer who's been attuned to quick moves and fast flicks, this guy came from a two-team tenure in Overwatch League to Valorant and has been pushing Raze to her limits ever since. Bunny's not only a Raze main, but a shotgun enthusiast. To the degree that this guy is buying judges in overtime when the entire tournament hangs in the balance. This is Berlin Point. <laughs> versus Dom1 Gaming Gear. But hey, when you've got your style, you might as well own it. Tattooed with Carpe DM on his wrist, Bunny stands ready to seize any day, any site, or any frag. 5K is a Reina Always player. going Reina. <laughs> From one agent enthusiast to another, the counterpart to Bunny's race has always been the ineffable 5K Reina. While the rest of the world plods along with their jet entries and blade storm highlight reels, 5k lives to feed on the jet chumps with a mastery of a vampiric duelist. Okay, so he's picked jet once or twice. We can assume this was due to blackmail from big duelists. Just strap in for preferential picks because this is a team that will not let go of its signature style. I think that's what makes them so bloody charming. Zumba was one of the primogenial Astra players and took well to her map wide influence and complicated timing reliant mechanics. But this is nothing new for Zumba. Previously an Overwatch League pro player and considered the premier off tank in the world for over a year, Zumba has always been a pioneer of new ways to bend a game's mechanics to his will leading to iconic moments such as this one, known as the Zumba Grab. This two-time winner of the Overwatch World Cup is a certified land beast with hundreds of previous matches in arena that will give him an advantage over any fresher competitors in Berlin. Oh, and he's also another shotgun enthusiast. Whether it's for Shorty or the Judge, Zumba's waiting in a nebula with a shotgun and a smile. Alright, I promised my love letter to previous Overwatch sweethearts is done so we can talk about some nutty gun players. This is Esperanza, mostly the server player for F4Q, but with Faraze onto Sage for Split because, <laughs> of course. It's worth noting that Esperanza has a significant competitive history in Valorant before moving to F4Q, and his former Rio teammate Buzz will also be attending Berlin as a Vision Strikers member. And if you want to know more, all I've got to say is that <laughs> this guy, this guy aims.
Finally, the little killjoy that good. Patch 3.0 has done nothing to deter Rafina's cerebral approach to the game on everyone's favorite German tinkerer. A Vision Strikers alumni transferred down to their second team, the Quantum Strikers. A rivalry between himself and the other Korean representative may be unavoidable to see who ended up on top after all. So you've heard about the agent preferences. That means that 90% of the time when you're loading into a map, you're going to be seeing F4Q playing this. It's a double-edged sword, though. While F4Q on their classic maps may be easier to try and counter stratted, another team would struggle to find a scrim partner with the same kind of potency on this agent combination that F4Q show. Also importantly, we haven't seen F4Q on Breeze yet, and with Viper practically mandated there, will we see F4Q be the team to buck the trend and try to conquer the shores without the Poison Queen? It seems on brand for them. As perhaps the most heavily stylistic team to make it this far into Valorant competition, the charm and unique nature of the F4Q squad makes them mesmerizing to watch. And they'll see you in Berlin.